Hey Actuarial Questers, I hope you are all good. Welcome back to my channel, The Actuarial Quest. I am Anchal, your Actuarial Mentor and a Qualified Actuary. And today's video is a little different because today I am not going to guide you on your Actuarial path. Instead, it's going to be a knowledge based video. I'm going to share some technical actuarial knowledge around a very important and emerging risk that actuaries around the world are starting to deal with, which is the climate change risk. As you know, an actuary's role is to measure and manage the risk that a company is facing. And climate change is a new challenge for actuaries. So today we will learn what climate change is, how it impacts the financial companies and how actuaries are doing all the assessments and calculations behind this risk. So keep watching and enhance your actuarial knowledge with me. First, a little general understanding. What is climate change? So what we commonly hear about climate change is that year on year, the world temperature is rising and the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is also rising. So why is all this happening and why is this a global concern? So around the world, whatever production and consumption is being done by human beings from energy and power generation to manufacturing of goods, cloths, food, including travel and transport, all these activities involve burning of fossil fuels like oil and coal. Currently, around 80% of the world's energy is produced by burning of these fossil fuels. This leads to huge emissions of greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide, nitrous oxide and all these gases layer up around the earth and keep absorbing the sun's heat resulting in warmer temperatures. Because of warmer temperatures, the thousand of years old glaciers present mostly in Antarctica are melting leading to a gradual increase in the sea levels. With increased sea levels, we have been observing frequent floods and hurricanes and with warmer temperatures, we have been observing droughts and wildfires. All this is impacting the entire ecosystem. It impacts the human health because extreme climate leads to heat waves, exhaustion and even heart attacks. It causes loss of lives. Even animal health is at risk because of extreme climate and poor air and water quality. It impacts the crop production because extreme climate leads to crop failure. It impacts the infrastructure and also impacts the ocean and marine life. So all in all, climate change affects every element of the environment in different ways. It affects us in so many ways that some of them and their intensity are not even known. Now you can easily imagine the direct impacts of climate change. It will have an impact on the normal working of all the businesses because of course natural calamities would interrupt the business. Employees will fall sick very often because of frequent heat waves and air pollution. And there will be frequent crop failure because of heavy floods leading to price rise or inflation. All these risks related to the direct impacts of climate change are called the physical risk. If you think about financial services companies like banks, insurance companies, stock management firms, investments play a huge role. So whichever diverse impacts of climate change are, all these will have a direct or indirect impact on the production of the companies where they have invested, hence leading to lower investment returns. And major risk is when these investments are for longer term because in long term, nobody can tell what climate change impacts are going to be there. Another perspective of the investments of financial services companies is that they would have invested in companies whose production units lead to major carbon emissions. For example, investments in major oil and petrol companies might be giving good profits, but keeping in mind the environmental cause, the government or socialists might restrict the investment in such companies. There might be a complete ban on their production. If they don't switch to the greener alternatives or if they don't keep their carbon emissions up to the allowed limit. So there is a huge risk that these high returns producing industries might flip to zero returns. And 
other companies might have to switch their investments into environmentally friendly companies. And such risk related to the indirect impact of climate change relating to the transitioning from high carbon emission industries or investments to greener alternative or investments are called the transition risk. Now let's think in what areas and in what ways uh, climate change impacts an insurance company. The most direct impact would be if it's a life or a health insurance company, then the direct or the physical risk of climate change would be increase in the medical claims and death claims. Why? Because climate change has a direct impact on human health. In case of general insurance companies, as climate change leads to extreme weather conditions, hence more travel related claims. There will be frequent crop failures due to floods and droughts and poor health of livestock and therefore more claims related to crop insurance and livestock insurance. With increased floods, we will have more property damage related claims. So be it any type of insurance, there certainly is a direct impact of increased claims. And this direct impact forms a part of the physical risk of climate change impact. So guessing the direct impact or the physical risk of climate change was quite easy. Now let's think about the transition risk of climate change. The risk that the company will face while transitioning into the low carbon economy. While transitioning and adapting to climate change, the insurance companies would face risks like huge cost in switching the investments, unavailability of greener alternatives that perfectly match their requirements, low returns on investments, increased regulatory reporting, lack of technology to understand the changing environment and huge risk of losses. Hence, to protect itself from all these risks, an insurance company will have to review all its processes and strategies such as its investment strategy, product design strategy, and risk management strategy. Now I have told you how climate change is a risk for financial companies. And you already know that wherever there is a risk, there is a need for actuaries to measure and manage it. So precisely, the role of actuaries is to assess how much climate change risk is the company exposed to and calculate the financial expected impacts on the company's business then calculate the measures the company needs to take to manage this risk. The usual valuation of the financial services companies like banks and insurance firms is based on the future expected cash flows. For example, an insurance company will value its liabilities on the basis of the future premiums that it is likely to receive and the future claims that it is likely to pay. Similarly, it will value its assets on the basis of the likely future returns on the investments. Now, by projecting the expected future claims, premiums or returns, the actuaries have to, along with all the factors that they are already considering, also add in a factor to reflect the influence of climate change. Actuaries need to think widely on all the possible impacts of climate change depending on the nature of the company's business. Like it would have a differing impact on a property insurance business as compared to the life insurance business and therefore the assessments for both these businesses will be done differently. Usually, actuaries use past data, build models and project the future. The problem with projecting climate change risk is that we don't have enough past data because climate change is still emerging. So we don't have a perfect distribution model that fits the climate change risk. Hence, actuaries might also need to apply their own judgment while projecting the future. And as we already discussed, investment actuaries also have a huge role to play in this regard. Actuaries need to calculate how the values of the assets might be impacted due to the physical and transition risk of climate change. Hence, to summarize, climate change can impact many different areas of actuarial work like product design, underwriting, pricing, reserving, risk management, capital management, investments and so on. Now you know all about climate change and how actuaries are doing their bit 
in protecting the companies from the financial impacts of climate change. There is something that all of us as individuals can also do in order to protect the planet Earth from the impacts of climate change, which trust me is much simpler than all the brainstorming and calculations that the actuaries have to do, which is simply reduce, reuse and recycle. So here are some examples that we all can collectively follow like avoid overutilizing the earth's resources, avoid buying goods when we don't need them because factories emit a lot of carbon dioxide to produce new goods. Avoid the use of plastic as much as possible because they don't decompose. We can save energy and be mindful while using electricity or power. And finally, plant more trees to clean the air and keep the temperature cool. That's all for today. I will be back with some more interesting and useful information around the actuarial profession. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Signing off for now, we'll be back soon.